The world is full of things we can't explain, but when scientists and archaeologists have a hard time explaining something, that's when things get interesting. From the oldest computer in history from the 15th century to a very mysterious footprint track at the bottom of the ocean, here are the 15 most amazing finds archaeologists still can't explain. Number 15. Nazca Lines The mysterious Nazca Lines are located in the Nazca Desert in Peru, South America. They are massive geometrical shapes in the ground that represent different animals. Some lines are 30 meters wide and can stretch as long as 9 kilometers. They were discovered in the 1920s when a plane flew over them and are so big it's impossible to see them from the ground. They were created between 500 BC and 500 AD by people digging incisions in the desert floor, but the precision of the geoglyphs is so accurate that it's very hard to explain how they did them and what tools they used. In the years leading up to 2020, between 80 and 100 new figures had been found with the use of drones, and archaeologists believe that there are more to be found. The Nazca Lines have been naturally preserved for so long because of the stable and dry climate of the plateau where they are. It's so dry there, it rains only one inch of water a year. But the true mystery is how and why they were made. Some archaeologists seem to think they made them to be visible to the deities in the sky. Other people think they represented the constellations they saw in the night sky. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. We've found this picture showing this blue and pink alien body in a laboratory. Supposedly, the remains were found in Egypt inside the pyramids of Giza. For a long time, people have thought that the pyramids were made by an alien civilization and this could be the proof to confirm the theory. Do you think that it's possible that the aliens are the ruins of an ancient alien civilization that lived here on Earth during ancient Egypt? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Valley of the Whales Imagine one day walking in the western desert of Egypt miles away from the coast and finding the fossilized skeleton of a 50-foot-long marine mammal. That's what happened to Philip Gingrich when he stumbled upon Wadi al-Hitan, also known as the Valley of the Whales. The fossils in question were those of a Basilosaurus whale, and the outstanding discovery is that it had delicate hind legs. Yeah, you heard that right, a whale with feet. After that first discovery, the fossils just kept coming. They found over 1,500 marine vertebrate skeletons. Amongst them are other early animals such as sharks, crocodiles, sawfish, turtles and rays, and even fossilized shark teeth from 41 million years ago. So how is it possible to find such a large number of marine fossils in the middle of the desert all perfectly preserved? Well, thousands of millennia ago, Ago, there was a shallow sea there before even the first human ancestor stood up on their hind legs to walk, and even before the shifting in tectonic plates crushed India into Asia, thus creating the Himalaya. And because the western desert of Egypt is so extremely dry, the bones were perfectly unharmed, waiting for us to discover them, and telling a perfectly written story of how the oceans used to be. Number 13. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe is believed to be the oldest built structure in the world. It was discovered in 1994 on the crest of a mountain also called Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. The site is a number of T-shaped limestone megaliths, some of which are 16 feet in height and can weigh 50 tons. They're arranged in circular formations, but the size wasn't the most mind-blowing discovery, but how old it actually is. 
we thought for a long time that Stonehenge in the UK was the oldest structure in the world. But Gobekli Tepe was radiocarbon dated to before 9000 BC. That's more than 11,000 years ago. That's over 6,000 years before Stonehenge was even beginning to be built. To put it in perspective, we today are closer to the time when Stonehenge was being built than the construction of Gobekli Tepe is to Stonehenge. And they did it all with no metal tools or even the wheel, just their own hands. But the most amazing discovery was yet to be revealed. In the animal remains at Gobekli Tepe, they found that only the finest, meatiest cuts had been brought up the hill to the temple, which indicates that the animals were wild. So the people that built such an incredible structure were, against everything we know, hunter-gatherers. This goes against absolutely everything we thought we knew about Stone Age people. Number 12. The Copper Scroll Treasure the Copper Scrolls were found in 1952, and it's one of the Dead Sea Scrolls. It was the last ever found of a series of other scrolls, but this one was special, because it wasn't made out of papyrus or parchment like the rest, but instead, it was made out of copper mixed with 1% of tin. And also unlike the other scrolls, this one isn't a literary work, but a list of 64 places where a treasure of gold and silver was buried. The Hebrew in the Copper Scrolls also differs from the other ones. It's closer to the language of the Mishnah rather than the literary Hebrew like the rest. It is dated at 50 to 100 Common Era. Archaeologists don't know what to make of the Copper Scrolls. The style, the material, it's all very unlike the rest of the scrolls found in the same caves. Because of all the discrepancies, some people actually think the scroll is a fake and that it was placed there on purpose. Some other people think that the scroll is real, but it was created as a decoy to distract looters when they entered the caves. Number 11. Mystery of King Tut's Death We've all heard of King Tutankhamun's tomb and the curse set upon anyone who dares enter it. But did you know that King Tut was just a teenager when he died? Considering that he was a mighty pharaoh, that means he was well-fed, fiercely protected, and had access to the best physicians in the empire. So why did he die at the young age of 19? In 1968, they did a series of radiographs on his mummy, and what they discovered was absolutely incredible. They found out that King Tut had suffered a broken leg and also serious head trauma right before his death. Could he have fallen from a chariot on his head, or could this be proof of murder? Another DNA study on his mummy and other family members suggested several genetic disorders, as well as traces of malaria, which might have led to a fragile disposition. But it's important to note that King Tut's death meant the end of Egypt's 18th dynasty, so murder by the people from the new regime isn't completely off the table. Archaeologists are still baffled by his untimely death that, for now, can't be explained. Number 10. The Ark of the Covenant According to the Book of Exodus, the one and only Ark of the Covenant is a gold-encrusted wooden chest that contains the stone-carved tablets of the Ten Commandments. At first, the chest was being kept in the First Temple, which was in Jerusalem. But in 587 BC, the First Temple was attacked and destroyed by King Nebuchadnezzar and his Babylonian army. After that, historians have lost track of the Holy Box, although many people have gone mad looking for it for centuries. And apart from Indiana Jones, nobody has ever managed to find it. Some people think it was saved from the sacking of the city and hidden away in a monastery in Ethiopia. But an ancient Hebrew text that was recently translated says that the Ark of the Covenant will simply reveal itself in time, but not before the day of the coming of the Messiah son of David. Finding this Ark would be the most important discovery for all three monotheistic religions, short of having Jesus come back to Earth. But the truth is, nobody has the slightest idea of where it might be. Number 9. Voynich Manuscript the Voynich Manuscript is one of the most mysterious written pages ever found in the world. It's an illustrated codex with very strange and haunting images of bizarre plants and events. It's believed to have been made in Central Europe, probably in Italy, about 600 years ago. But the meaning of the content, or even the language it's written in, are a complete and utter puzzle. 
Researchers put extracts of the manuscript forward every year in hopes that someone from the public can shed some light into the matter, but so far without any luck. For some time, it was thought it was written in a cipher from ancient Hebrew, but even then, the manuscript produced only incoherent sentences. The total pages are around 240, depending on how the unusual foldouts are counted. The parchment is made out of calfskin, and the binding is made of goatskin. But the most unusual part about the Voynich manuscript might be the illustrations. All over the book are small, naked women, along with astrological and astronomical representations. There are also mythological creatures, like a dragon spitting fire. Number 8. Antikythera Mechanism the Antikythera Mechanism is a 2,000-year-old artifact that was found in a Greek shipwreck. Scientists have determined that it was an ancient tool that used a wind-up dual system to track the celestial time of the Sun, the Moon, and five planets in our solar system. It also had a calendar, the phases of the Moon, and an extremely accurate timing of eclipses. It's not for nothing that they call it the first ever computer. The Antikythera mechanism was so sophisticated that no other tool like it would be invented in the entire planet for another thousand years. Researchers have been scratching their heads since its discovery. It seems almost impossible that the ancient Greeks would have had access to such an advanced technology. There was never found any other artifact like it, and there are no records of more than one ever existing. The evident anachronism of the mysterious mechanism has sparked a lot of conspiracy theories that claim its technology had to have come from an alien species. While most researchers don't accept that theory, they still have absolutely no idea of how it could have existed at that time. Number 7. The Disappearance of the San Sing Dui the San Singdui are a lost civilization of the Bronze Age in ancient China. When they discovered the remains of a long-lost city, they started excavating items of a style and advanced technique never seen before in the country's history. But the archaeologists were most baffled by the fact that most of the objects they found were purposely burnt beyond recognition. Why would a civilization disappear, leaving behind all their belongings burned down? What happened to this enigmatic people? Who were they? They found many different bronze faces and sculptures, but nobody knows what they meant or why they were made. The Sang Sing Dui civilization seems to be at the same level of the great Bronze Age artists that, before, were only thought to have existed in ancient Egypt and Greece. We know now that they were a part of the southern kingdom of Shu, a rival to the powerful Han dynasty, but we still don't know what exactly caused their sudden disappearance. Some say it was a terrible earthquake. This theory is backed by some researchers, and some others say it was actually aliens, due to how their masks look almost extraterrestrial. The the truth is, it's impossible to explain either their existence or their demise. Number 6. Noah's Ark If you've ever heard of the Bible, you know what the famous story about Noah's Ark is all about. But for those who haven't had the chance to hear it, well, here it goes. Basically, Noah was a very good man in a time when people were losing their religious ways. They were giving into vices and all the other sins. So God decided to drown the entire planet under a terrible flood that lasted exactly seven months and 17 days. But because Noah was such a great person, God gave him instructions to build an ark, which is basically a very big boat. And then he commanded Noah to take into the boat a male and a female specimen of every animal species to be able to repopulate once he had killed everyone else on Earth. Although there's no evidence that this story actually happened, lots of people throughout history have gone looking for Noah's Ark. Now, in the Bible, it is clearly stipulated that the Ark rested on the mountain of Ararat in eastern Turkey. And, in fact, they did find a shape in the mountains that resembled a lot of that of a boat. But after excavations, it turned out to only be a rock formation. After all, as archaeologist Paul Zemanski once said, I don't know of any expedition that ever went looking for the Ark and didn't find it. Number 5. Strange Footprints Discovered Beneath the Ocean's Surface 
A deep diving robot recently found a set of very mysterious footprints, not one, not two, but four kilometers beneath the Pacific Ocean surface between Mexico and Hawaii. The footprints are like nothing ever seen before. They are absolutely huge, measuring 2.5 meters in length and 13 inches in depth. Anything that could leave a track like that behind should not be living down there. And most importantly, nobody has a clue as to what kind of beast or creature could be responsible for such a mysterious set of prints. After ruling out the possibility of mining or scientific operations, and after consulting marine biologists, there simply isn't any explanation for the bizarre discovery. It even has scientists completely baffled and lost. The track has 3,500 depressions in total, and they stretch for miles. It could even be proof of technology that isn't from this Earth, but scientists seem to think it could also be deep diving whales. But a whale has never been seen diving four kilometers deep. Maybe whales are keeping a very well-hidden secret from us, or maybe we've stumbled upon a strange and scary discovery that has yet to be revealed. Number 4. Ancient Pork Clock the people during the Roman Empire used a very curious object to tell time. It was a sundial in the shape of a ham, hence its name, the pork clock. And for comfort, it was even portable, making it one of the oldest known portable sundial clocks ever. A pocket watch for the ancient Romans of sorts. A portable pork clock, I'd buy that today. Recently, a team of researchers have 3D printed one to unlock the secrets of how it works. Apparently, to be able to use it properly, one needs a certain amount of finesse. It represents a close knowledge of how the sun works, and if you have the touch, it can be used to tell time. It has a series of vertical lines that are marked as the months of the year, and the horizontal ones tell the number of hours past sunrise or before sunset. It has a little protuberant piece called a gnomon, which is the piece that casts the shadow over the clock. And it even looks like a little pig's tail. It was used by hanging the clock from a string so that the sun falls on its left side, allowing a shadow to be cast. Number 3. Sweden Witchcraft Island Reveals Stone Age Rituals the Blue Maiden Island, or Blow Jungfrun, looks from afar like a perfectly shaped dome erecting from the waters of the Kalmar Strait in the Baltic Sea. But in reality, it's a little Swedish island, and its name comes from the blue granite rocks that it's made from. It is only one kilometer long and 86 meters high, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in urban legends. This seemingly innocent island has a very dark past, and in the Swedish folklore, it's always had a reputation of being a place of evil magic. Rumors say that since the 16th century, witches would gather there on Maundy Thursday to meet and worship the devil. Today, the island's a national park, and archaeologists are excavating some very bizarre things, like the Trolleborg Labyrinth, said to be cursed. They say that whoever takes a rock from it will have a lifetime of bad luck. Several altars were also found where rituals were performed. They've even found a cave that was modified to be used as a sort of theater or stage for ritual activities. Whether you believe in black magic or not, it's clear that this island was a place of worship and ritual. The important thing is to know what kind was going on there. Number 2. Mysterious Vault B of Padmanabhaswami Gold Temple the Padmanabhwasabi Temple was built in the 6th century AD in India, and since then, it's been reformed and owned by the Travancore royal family. The Travancores are the direct descendants of a saint, and they've always been associated with a lot of mythical and magical power. In 2011, a group of archaeologists decided to excavate under the temple. They were looking for a secret treasure. During the excavation, they discovered six huge vaults protected by strong doors made out of iron. What they found inside was greater than what anyone could have ever imagined. There were hundreds of bags full of ancient gold coins, diamonds, gemstones, jewelry, but there was one door that remained unopened, and as hard as they tried, nothing seemed to work. 
Legend has it, the last door couldn't be opened because it was sealed by sages using Naga Pasam mantras, aka Serpent Noose. That means no amount of power tools will ever open it because it was sealed with magical powers. There's only one person today that knows what's inside that vault, the only remaining living descendants of the Travancore family. But as much as the mysterious door, his lips have been sealed forever, and he will never reveal the secret to the public. And Archaeology Archaeologists have not yet found a way of opening that door, so it remains a mystery. Number 1 1,000 Year Old Buddha Statue with a Very Dark Secret what was thought for hundreds of years to be just another golden statue of a sitting Buddha turned out to be hiding inside the mummified remains of a monk that lived a thousand years ago. The bizarre discovery was found in a temple in the Chinese province of Hebei. What was most disturbing is that the remains were remarkably well preserved. There were complete bones and even the brain was intact. And instead of organs, the sacred mummy had inside pieces of parchment with Chinese words written on them. The monk in question is believed to be a Buddhist master named Sixian Sanzang, and legend has it he was able to sense when his death was imminent. So he instructed his disciples on how to preserve his body in chemicals for three full years before building the sculpture around it. In Buddhism, there's the belief that if someone reaches a certain level of holiness, their dead body will not decompose. But monk Sanzang did prepare for his death, starving himself for a long time to lose body fat so that his body could be better preserved. It's also believed that he ingested a specific poison to make his tissue less subject to decomposing during his last months alive. As you can see, we're discovering every day new things that completely defy our vision of the history of the world. If you had the chance to solve any of these mysteries, which one would you choose? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!